I've got a Drew Locke thought, okay? He is the luckiest man on the face of the earth. Look at the last two drafts, and I don't just mean Drew Locke in 2019 in the second round. Look at what they have done for Drew Locke. Let's say the last three drafts, Cortland Sutton, Jerry Judy, Deshaun Hamilton in the slot, Noah Fant at tight end, uh, and Philip Lindsay out of nowhere, a thousand yard right. rusher each of the first two years. And now you go and get a low cost Melvin Gordon as the backup. It's incredible. We haven't even talked about KJ Hamler. John Elway told me the great story about KJ Hamler. Remember his 100 yard kickoff return uh, for Penn State against Michigan? Yeah. Elway told me that th when the scouts were watching that right after the season, this is when they're all in the same room. The scouts are watching it, and Elway said, hey, <clears throat> that guy is so fast. Let's time him in the 40 when he gets going. So they timed him like from the 30, his own 30, to the uh, opposing 40, okay? They got our, our opposing 30. They got a 40-yard dash, and he ran it in 3.93 seconds. And Elway just said, this guy's incredible. We got to get this guy. And <clears throat> what's so great about this is the Denver Broncos looked at the Kansas City Chiefs and said, okay, you got Tyreek Hill, you got Sammy Watkins, you got McCole Hardman. We'll call you that and we'll raise you KJ Hamler, Jerry Judy, Cortland Sutton, and Deshaun Hamilton. And let's see who wins. Now, the only problem, it, Drew Locke might not be Patrick Mahomes. So we'll see. <laughs> No, well, he's not. I, I'll just tell you, he's not Patrick Mahomes, but he is damn good. And I think he has a chance to be real special. Patrick Mahomes special? I don't know about that. I mean, I think all three of us would agree. This is about as special as we've ever seen come into the NFL, especially after only three years in the league. But Locke has a chance to be really special, too. Locke was a first-round talent last year. Mike's heard me say this a million times. He's probably sick of hearing me say it. You know, he just he got he got docked because his team fell apart his last year at Missouri and people blamed him. So that was stupid. But man, the talent to Peter's point around him right now is scary good. And hey, to let you know where they got a leg up on Kansas City a little bit, of course, their offense is not going to be hitting on all cylinders like Kansas City. It's going to take a little time. But the talent is eye opening, just like Kansas City. And the Broncos got a leg up as far as on the Chiefs is, are concerned. Their defense. I mean, the Broncos' defense is the real deal. And when you got Bradley Chubb coming back and Jarrell Casey, you better watch out. And, you know, to, to what Drew Locke is saying, too, that's very real when he talks about, like, not wanting to let John Elway down. I mean, you, you guys know this. When you're around good people who have faith in you, you want to make sure you prove them right. You know, I mean, gosh, you know, John Gruden, hey, there was times where I wanted to – shove it up where the sun don't shine sometimes with my my play and be like hey eat that buddy talk some more crap to me but really at the end of the day i wanted to please him because i knew he had faith in me you know hey we work with tony dungy i want to be a good person when i'm around tony dungy because i know he's so good i don't want to disappoint him so that's a very yeah, real aspect good, of, yeah. of a you quarterback. Fa you fail every, <laughs> you fail every sunday the moment you walk into the viewing room and say what's up expletive deleted sorry coach <laughs> you're right he probably doesn't like me <laughs> hi i'm mike tarico and thanks for watching make sure to hit subscribe for the latest news and highlights from nbc sports